for the NES. I know I've done. Uh, I know I've done some dumbass reviews on this, but I've never actually done a serious review. As I'm getting battered around at the start, it may not look like a serious review, but this time I'm playing this game for real. And this is Batman for the NES. As you can tell, it has excellent animation and graphics. This is actually an incredibly difficult game. As you can tell, I'm fucking up at the start. But luckily, you can redeem yourself uh, if you take a bunch of hits because the enemies will drop health as well as weapons. But to select a different bat weapon, you use the start button instead of select, which is kind of odd. Now, of course, this game has badass music. So bombs are actually fairly easy to dodge. If you just do a regular jump, you'll jump over them and not get hit by them. So when you see those bombs on the ground, don't fucking worry about them. And of course, the wall jump, everybody knows you gotta master its trickery. But it's really not that hard to master the wall jump if you know what you're doing. So, I wouldn't worry too much about that. It's not really like it's that big of a handicap. You can actually wall jump past these guys right here, but... Fuck it. Might as well collect the bat weapons and try to restore some health. The points, of course, don't mean anything unless you just care about a high score. So collecting the bees don't mean shit. Fucking jetpack. Where the fuck were the jetpack guys in the fucking movie? That makes no goddamn sense. But yeah, this is an awesome side scroller for the NES. And actually, well, probably one of my favorite NES games of all time, to be honest. Yeah, it's tough. You gotta know when to use your special weapons and when not to, because you only have limited ammo. Now on some bosses, you have to use the fucking ammo wisely, which we'll get to when we get to stage 2. To the boss of stage 2, you have to have all the ammo you can get, and you gotta use them wisely to beat them. Anyway, moving on to the first boss. The first boss is actually a pushover. Just select your 3 damage three usage weapons. Stand in the right spot in the first box is nothing. Then of course you get the classic cut save. At least it restores your health at the end of each stage. So if you do fuck up like I was doing, Stores your health, so it's not too big of a deal as long as you beat the stage. Now the second stage improves the platforming quite a bit, because you gotta jump across a bunch of gaps, and watch out for that dripping liquid, because it will damage you and fuck your jumps up. Now this part may look dangerous, but just use the weapon one. a challenging game. This game is actually really challenging. It's kind of like Ninja Game with the actual difficulty. But uh, Ninja Game is actually a harder game. I know I did a shitty review on Ninja Game and I really did do a be doing a better review on it also. But I'm just going back to some of the games that I fucking did a review on that I wasn't that I was kind of being stupid at and not really doing seriously. But that was back when this channel was originally created and I was just fucking with trolls. But I think it's time to revisit some of these games that I wasn't really trying on and actually try to do a good review on them. 
So yeah, each stage in this game is different, and the hardest stage in this game is actually the fucking stage with the cavern. Well, besides the final stage, of course. But yeah, the hardest stage in this game is the fucking cavern stage with those fucking cranes and shit. We'll get to that. First stage is if you're cautious and that tough. And of course moments like this is where you really gotta learn and master the jumping technique. Sometimes you gotta do a short jump just to fucking get where you need to be. But yeah, you'll master that as you play as the game. Jumping mechanics is one of the main platforming parts of this game. If you don't master it, you're a deep shit. You gotta know when to go short and when to go long. I swear you always get hit by those assholes. I always did that because I gained two health and I only took one hit, so that was worth it. Now those asshole bomb droppers right there, they could be a major pain in the ass, and they take a lot of hits to destroy, but sometimes they're better off destroying them, just so they can save you some hits later. I know it burns up ammo, but before you get to this boss, you'll want to build up some ammo anyway. I don't suggest fighting the second stage boss until you have maximum ammo. I know it takes a while to do this this way, but it's safer in the long run. God damn it. Uh. It's taking too long with the boomerang. Focusing too much on talking and not enough on the game. Now I gotta start all the way fucking over on this goddamn stage. Now I gotta start all the way fucking over on this stage. I didn't use my weapons to destroy that thing like last time because I don't have that. I'll 
I'll take a hit right there because we're about to be at the fucking fill the fuck. God damn it! I'm talking! I was fucking talking! Ignore it, ignore it, ignore it! We're at the end of the fucking stage because I was talking. We got our ass killed. We gotta do this shit right this time. I want at least one review to go well. Fuck it, I'll take, I'll take the fucking hits right there as long as we can actually get to the end of the stage without fucking up. There we go. There we go. Now we're on the right track. Now this part right here is where you want to... This part right here is where you want to build up not only your weapons, but your health. Make sure when you get to this point on stage 2 to make sure you have maximum weapons and maximum health. To be on this point is a pain in the ass boss where if you don't have that shit, you're gonna have a hell of a time fighting them. I know it may take a while, but definitely you want at least max weapons. Max health could possibly be optional on this boss, but I suggest doing both just because this boss could be a major fucking pain in the ass. And if you die on him, you don't get a chance to replenish your weapon. That's why I say you need max health also, because once you get into this boss battle, uh, you're stuck inside the boss battle burn up all your fucking weapons, then you're fucked. So make sure you have max health, even though getting max health can take a while because hearts are a rare drop sometimes. And even when you're doing it right, sometimes you can get hit randomly by an asshole. But if you want any chance at this boss, you want to make sure you're maxed out on health and weaponry. Otherwise, this boss could be one of the biggest pains in the ass you'll ever play. I know it's a pain in the ass to do this. I know it takes a while, but trust me, it's worth it if you want to beat this game and not just get stuck. At least you have badass music to go with your building up. Try the boss without max health, but as I said, I don't recommend it. But yeah, this is this is definitely one of my favorite NES side scrollers. I know there are tedious moments like this, but luckily there aren't that many stages where you have to do this. There are only a couple stages where I suggest you wait till you have full power, but there aren't very many stages that require this. But stage two is definitely one of the that requires it. Mainly because of how bullshit the boss can be if you're not prepared. I mean, we could probably move on with six hits, but I want to make sure if you're trying to beat the game and try to be serious about it, you would want to make sure too. So I apologize for the boredom at this moment, but like I said, this time I'm trying to give this game a serious look at it. Because normally all the other videos I made of this game I was just kind of dicking around on. Like I never fucking mentioned why the hell is Batman wearing purple. Yeah, even the old 60s Batman didn't fucking wear purple. So why the fuck is he wearing purple? You know, random shit like that. Alright, now the boss part. This 
part is actually really difficult only because of your weaponry and how you have to use it. And you do have to pretty much burn up all your weaponry if you're not careful. But we're about to fight the asshole. And of course you cannot start with the weapon you want to use immediately. You gotta fight the boss. You have to select the weapon as you do it, so selecting the weapon beforehand does not help. There you go, the first boss part is done. See how quickly your weapons are burning up on this boss fight. Since the max weaponry is only 99. So yeah, that boss is a major goddamn pain in the ass. Of course, there you see old Jack. Joker fucking doing this famous line. And now you see your weapons don't replenish, so now you're in the sewer. So, yeah, but... The second boss is one of the hardest bosses, only because if you don't do it right, you'll burn up all your weaponry, then you'll be permanently on the boss fight until he kills you for a game over. <coughs> This stage is only dangerous because of a big ass frog asshole. Now these guys... I find it better to sit in the distance and just fucking attack them while they're slightly on screen. That way you can kill them without taking too much bullshit from them. They got time to jump correctly. But it's kind of like the Red Devils and Ghouls and Ghosts. Where if you time it correctly, you can kill them with little bullshit. Otherwise, they're a pain in the ass because they hop all over the fucking place and kick your ass. So yeah, be careful on those assholes. You gotta go slow because those hopping assholes will pop up all the fucking time. You gotta be really careful about that. But don't be stupid like I was and jump into a goddamn rotary blade. Yeah, see, you'll miss if you don't time it right. Yeah, this stage you gotta be really cautious on. See what happens when you fucking don't kill those assholes off screen. Yeah, if you don't kill those assholes off screen, you just saw what happens. He hops all over the fucking place and kicks your ass. And now I'm out of weapons and horribly damaged. Be fucking careful as hell with those asshole popping bastards. And when the hell? What? There I go, fucking. I was near the end of goddamn stage two. But anyway, where in the hell were those fucking hopping frog bastards in the fucking Batman movie? Where the hell did they even come from? 
But now you're gonna get to see me fight one of those assholes without a weapon because I'm fucking low on weaponry and can't kill one. So now you're gonna see what it would be like if you didn't do my strategy of shooting them off screen. Here we go. See how bullshit they are if you don't fucking fight them off screen? You just saw that, right? So you got to fight them off fucking screen using your weapons, otherwise, as you see, they'll hop all over you and kick your ass. Yeah, as you can see, off screen, just like the Red Devils and fucking ghouls and ghosts, that's the best way to fight those assholes. Ah. I wasn't paying attention and I was standing on those fucking bombs. But yeah, we're gonna end this review here in a minute. Now this stage you can build up for the shit you need, but it's a lot more difficult to do because the terrain is way more dangerous than the previous stage. But as you can see, I have no weapons, there's a frog asshole there, and I'm surrounded by fucking turbines. Now I can technically go back, but you can see the jump distance is so bad that it's actually a terrible idea. Now you can see I'm really in a fucked spot. Now you can bypass that guy as you just saw, so even though you were in a bad spot, you can actually get past him without any kind of fight. But then there's this asshole immediately afterwards that you cannot get past. But anyway, it is my real review the fucking Batman NES game. The other ones were just kind of dick around reviews. I wish I would have made it farther during this review, but I burst up all my bat weapons, so I cannot get past these frog assholes as effectively as I was doing. But yeah, it's actually an excellent side scroller and definitely one of NES best games. So I definitely suggest playing it. Graphics, music, all of its excellence. But anyway, if you like my video, please subscribe. We're gonna end this one here, because without my fucking bat weapons, I cannot get past these frog assholes effectively. Now I'm about to die, maybe my last continues, so... Anyway, it is my real Batman review. Check out my other videos. And y'all have a good night.